You know, being a hero is actually quite difficult. There's a lot of danger, you have to save, the damsel in distress, but still, occasionally, you just need to go on holiday. So that's clearly what Mario's doing here. Don't know what Peach is doing. She's basically, well, actually, if, if Peach gets captured on, on holiday, why would she get captured on holiday? Uh, Mario's there to save her. Hello, guys, this is Rabbit Luigi, and welcome to Let's Play Super, what are we playing? Let's play Super Mario Sunshine. Honest, honest to God, one of my favorite childhood games. This is a game from my childhood of all things, so I'm gonna enjoy playing this one. You know, Legend of Zelda on the NES. Okay, I'll do it anyway. But this is, this is for me, guys. This isn't for you. You know, maybe you'll enjoy watching this. I don't really care. Like, nobody could watch this and I'll still be happy. I like this game quite a lot. It's not brilliant. Well, actually, the game's pretty good. The game is good. I won't deny that. But it's not, like, perfect or anywhere near perfect. There's a lot of problems with the game. And there's lots of controvers controversies, that's how you say that word, with this game. But I love it anyway. It's so fun. I love it. This is for me. This isn't for you. I'm just playing this game anyway. So obviously, we have Mario, uh, Peach, and Toadsworth in a sec. Come on. Hello, Toadsworth. He's having fun. I, I want to oh, I, I wanna, I wanna be under a palm tree and relax and all that sort of thing. But no, I'm here making videos. But uh, yeah, that will go on holiday. Lazy bastards, they're supposed to be like saving the world from outer space. Saving the world from outer space. It's bad things in outer space, guys. Trust me on this one. So anyway, this is, as you can clearly tell, and I've said already, but this is... Super Mario Sunshine! I can't do the voice, so I'm sorry. I'm, if you're coming to this video, expect me to be able to do an impression of Mario. You, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway, this is my master file. It's like the one I had when I was a kid. This is the first file I had. I have no idea what this one's for. This might be without the blue coins or something. But anyway, let's go to a new one and start this baby up. There's a big cutscene here, so... I, it's probably best if we start this off quickly. So, you know, if, if I'm here for a long time talking in the cutscene, that's good. I get to talk to you guys about this game, which I like quite a lot. I may have mentioned that already. I can't remember if I did. I'm mentioning it now. So anyway, we are on a runway and landed, but there's a big, like, blobby thing. I don't know, Peach. I don't know. Big sort of painty blobby thing. It's like smoking. You know, I'm sure there's like anti-smoking rules in Delfino. This is clearly a bad thing. Toads, little toads with really annoying voices want to have a, like a swim in it. And on that topic, this game has voice actors, which I think is a wonderful thing. It's not really something I'd say, every Mario game should have voice actors because it'd be better that way. But it's nice that they actually tried it for one, at least one game. Uh, and it sounds all right, you know? Toads sound annoying, which is about right. Toadsworth sounds fucking incredible. Oh, he's British. Actually, cause there's, how, many, how many British are there in this game? I can't remember. Bowser Jr.? I can't remember. Was he British? No, he wasn't British. But they all sound like they should do, let's be honest. You know, Peach sounds kind of desperate, I suppose. And of course, Mario doesn't speak, because why would he? Anyway, here is Flood. Fla is it Flash? Flash? Fla what? what does Flood stand for? Flash liquidizing ultra de dowsing device. What's the F for? Come on, tell me. Is it Flash? Yes, in the bottom left you can see all the previous, there's Super Mario World, Super Mario 64, which is like the previous one before this. Flash! It's Flash Liquidizer, Liquidizer, not Liquidizing. I got that wrong, I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys, I've let you down. But anyway, another tutorial. User instructions, you're not as bad as Fee, but thank you very much, you know. Shoot the R button. My R button's actually quite clunky, if you can... He can hear it. He can hear it, and it's quite loud. So you, you're going to be able to tell when I'm uh, using Flood. You, other, other than the fact you can see it on the screen, you're going to. My trigger buttons on. This is a. It's a very old GameCube controller, and it's a bit. It's a bit tired, actually. It could get very annoying. I'm going to try and not do that. Okay. I, I, it it would make more sense in the heat of battle where we're spraying water over things, but otherwise it's just. Yeah! <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. Don't worry. So, anyway, how are we doing? Super Mario Sunshine. Not a bad game. I've, I've run out of things to talk about. Come on. Let's get the tutorial over with. I want to play. No. Gotta check that one. I don't want to hear an explanation again. I've played this game more times than you think, game. More times than it could even possibly comprehend, and that was a stupid thing to do. 
Get up there. Spray the water on the big blobby thing in the middle. And we have our first boss. This is uh, a goopy piranha, I think. I think that the technical name is a goopy piranha. These guys are really easy. Like, really embarrassingly easy. And the fun thing is, you see about seven, seven of these guys, six, seven of these guys throughout the whole game. They are more common than pigeons. They are pretty, it's incredible how many times you see these guys. And you see them like four times in the opening half an hour of the game or something. It's a little bit crazy just how often you see these guys. But they're easy. They're, they're an opening boss. It's okay. And, you know, defeating one gave us a shine sprite, which is like stars, shine sprites, more... Well, they should be stars. They're basically stars, but they're not stars because it's more... It works more story-wise. I don't know. It just... Just just go with it. Don't argue with it. Just go with it. Anyway. Shine Sprite acquired. Oh, oh. oh Toadsworth. I love your voice. I don't know I don't know who his voice actor was, but I want to pay that guy money because that was beautifully done. Is it some kind of pump? I wish I had that voice. If I had that voice and made videos... Oh, jeez. I mean, people say I've got a nice voice, but... If I had that voice, I would think I'd have a nice voice. I'd just have a British voice, but whatever. And they have lawyers! Piantas have lawyers! That is cool! That is... Ah. Oh. Do they have like a lawyer school? Like a law school? Where's the law school? Where do they learn all of this? Because I, I know they talk about shine scholars. Do they have like... Where's a school? I want to go learn to be a shine scholar. Who's with me on that one? Shout out at the rooftops. Scholars. Yeah. Shine Scholars? I don't know. Shine Scholars! There we go. Good timing. Thank you, sir. They've got lawyers. So they must have schools? Well, I suppose there's all these buildings which we never actually go into, so... Maybe? I don't know. It's a sad-looking Shine Sprite. I was looking at the, the eyes are glowing. I don't like that. What a great picture! Oh, jeez, look at that. If it, if it didn't have an M on it, didn't actually have the hat properly drawn, you could like frame someone else, because they all look the same. You could colour it green, and then change it to an L, but I don't know. You could colour it green, and frame Luigi. That'd be kind of cool. Or just like, make it W and colour it yellow. And then Wario's in trouble, it's all good. Wario's not even in this game, but it's neither is Luigi. Sadly, that's a shame. Oh well. And we're in, we're in jail. How did this happen? God damn. I think I've played this game wrong. I did something wrong at some point which made sure that I was in jail. I don't... Someone's gonna help me if on that one. I don't know. I don't know. I'm full of coffee actually, that's what that was. More coffee. Mm. I like coffee. Anybody else like coffee? You'd think I'm, you know, British! British must have tea! No, I like coffee, actually. And yeah, I don't know why. I think just coffee's better. There's someone outside revving a motorcycle. Shut the fuck up, I'm doing the recording. Actually went a bit quieter. <laughs> that actually worked, oh my god. Pitiable. It's hard to say in a robot voice. It is most pitiable. Mer. See now, if Fee had this sort of voice, you know, Skyward Sword, Fee, if she had this sort of voice, and was voice acting somehow, I don't know how that would work, but... It would make more sense if all the things we're saying, like, it is 90% that you are playing Super Mario Sunshine. Yes. Yes. It's like, it makes more sense. No, I don't want to hear explanation again. I'm glad it defaults to that, actually, if I'm honest. We go with the uh, Kepora Gebora. That guy. Ocarina of Time. What a, what a guy he was. Oh, he was my favourite guy in that game. He's not even a guy, he's an owl, but shut up. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, can we go now? Delfino Plaza. It's very dark. The bro <laughs> I always find that when I recorded this game for the update video, some of you may or may not have seen recently, it's quite dark, actually. Um, it might just be my recording software or something, but it makes it seem quite dark. And it's actually physically dark on the game now, because the story says so, that's why. Anyway. I think I've seen this boss somewhere before. I can't remember where. I can't remember, possibly. Did we see him on the airstrip? We did! We did! Oh jeez, here's another one. I mean, it's... Okay, one fault I have to give against this game is that they had good ideas, but then they thought the ideas were so good that we'll do it again. 
which I know. Nintendo has done in the pu in the past, in the future, because this is 2002. I think that's when this game came out. Um, when you have a good idea, guys, don't just copy paste it. Just you have to. Good idea is a good idea, but don't just copy paste it. You know, piranha plants, piranha goopy piranha plants. It's a good idea. It's kind of cool. It's a goopy enemy, paint like enemy. But uh, don't copy it. <laughs> just do something different. But anyway, here's Shadow Mario, Shadow Mario, even to all all, I, all my American viewers, of which there are many. Shadow Mario, Shadow Mario, come back with my princess, bitch. Yes, yes, I have a, I have a pump. Now he's actually going to race us back to the doohickey, the square. And of course, look, I'm here, I'm here before him. I'm him way before him. And where is, where is he? I don't know where he is. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh no, we've beaten him. He just moved. That was weird. Come on, come on, Bob. Look, I'm going to be right in front of it, right in front of the statue. I'm not even in the cutscene. Come on. That's weak. Nintendo, this game's rubbish because I'm not in the cutscene. Call of Duty will have me in the cutscene. I'll be in the cutscene in like Halo and so I don't care. Whatever, fuck. Whatever. Episode one of Bianco Hills, the first area. This game has, oh shit, seven areas, six areas, seven areas. Can't remember. I'm gonna have to check that one. It's gonna be a thing on the screen at the moment. It's gonna say that many areas. I'm gonna look it up in between recordings, but uh, <laughs> I don't know. And this is kind of an average area for me I don't it's so it's okay it's like welcome to Super Mario Sunshine this game is pretty good is a kind of generic grassy level with hills you know hills are in the title oh no it's full of goop you're gonna have to clean it up son or just lie in it I was kind of like that I always liked how you would slide in the goop and it would actually go on Mario that was kind of cool let's go slide and oh geez that's a piranha face or a piranha head there's a piranha doohickey. I've lost a lot of life. <laughs> I'm just gonna hang on. I'm gonna concentrate. There we go. And ho hum. Um, if we just no, come on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. Look, we got another one. That's three in about 13 minutes. Wow, Nintendo. Just as well you had a good boss idea for like other moments in this game. If this game had like 20 of these guys, I'd be less happy about it. But anyway. Uh, does this one take a couple, couple more hits? I can't remember. Arr, I want to get you. I want to get you. No, that was. We so we faced three goopy piranha plants, and they've all taken three hits to kill. Uh, which means that Half-Life Three has been confirmed. That's what that means. Yes, it does. Ah, oh, from a game about eleven years ago. <laughs> I don't know. So hang on. Before I get this, before I get this. Something you can do in this level, this the first episode, is up there, you see another one, another shiny thing, another shiny shine sprite above the boss of the next episode. And you can skip all of this, go you know, through here, across here, up there, and do episode two before episode one, which is kind of cool. Something you could do in uh, Super Mario 64, but I think it's like one of the few times you can do this in the game. Which is kind of cool, but I'm going to do things in order for a change, which is which is nice. And at that point, <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice. I've been ill recently. I feel like to say this, but <clears throat> anyway, this has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been Let's Play. No mm, planning. <laughs> I can't remember what the game's called. It's not like I played it like 20 times or something. This has been. I'm just going to go into the level. This has been <laughs> Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, and in the next episode, we're going to go, we're going to go down with Petey Piranha uh, at the windmill, and we're going to go beat his face. I don't know. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.